What is up YouTube? Dean here and welcome to Smackdown Live Talk. Now, there was a lot of things thrown off for me of Smackdown today that I was confused about. But, before I get that started, they announced all the six guys that is going to be in the Elimination Chamber match. As you can see right behind me, we got The Miz is in that match. Not mad whatsoever. Uh, I think it's a great idea that they actually put The Miz in. You'll see why a little later on. I'll explain more. Of course, my boy, my favorite superstar, AJ Styles, is in this match. I am, for some reason, I am actually looking forward to this. Uh, of course, the champ himself, John Cena, Bray Wyatt is in this match, Baron Corbin, and Dean Ambrose. The only thing that I do not like is why did they put Dean Ambrose in this match? He's the Intercontinental Champion. Why is this title not being defended? I that's I I don't get I I don't get it at all. Why is he not defending that Intercontinental title as he should be? Why is it in Elimination Chamber match? That's WWE for you guys. Thanks. <laughs> um, it's awesome that they put Bray Wyatt in this match. Uh, I hope they turn things around and let somebody else be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, it's a great opportunity for somebody other than John Cena to be the champ. So, will we see somebody else versus Randy Orton? Main event WrestleMania? I hope so. But I'll give you guys my pick later on who should be in this type of match. Now with SmackDown, I don't know what was going on. They had AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose for no reason. But it's great that AJ Styles won this match to prove that he is... The champ that he is. And one of the great superstars SmackDown has. Uh, but of course beginning of SmackDown. They had John Cena come out. And he was just going on saying. There was going to be an open challenge for that belt. Which is one of the most retarded things that SmackDown could have done. And... Of course, comes out the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton comes out. Bray Wyatt cutting his best promos that he has. Saying that, John, the time is going to be up. Technically, that's what Bray Wyatt is saying. And Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton gets to the ring apron, climbs on up. And it just goes dark. And Luke Harper is in the ring. So apparently, Luke Harper is going to... Help out John Cena. Then comes out Shane McMahon to make a match. A two on two tag match. Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton versus Luke Harper and John Cena. And you can see that Bray Wyatt was trying to get inside Luke Harper's head. And I'm glad that. The Wyatt family came up with the win, which makes sense. And who knows what's going on with Luke Harper. Is he going to be welcome back in the Wyatt family? Or is he just going to keep going against them? Who knows? We'll see. There's still time. Now let's talk about the tag team matches. Which there was no tag team matches at all whatsoever. American Alpha, uh, they had an, another open challenge, right? I'm thinking it's probably the Revivals. No. We have Brizango come out. We had the Usos come out. We had Rhino and Heath Slater come out. We had the Ascension come out. Those guys look badass, dude. I, I got excited seeing the Ascension. They need to do something with the Ascension. I agree that they should. But it wasn't a match. 
Everybody just had a brawl. Technically, pretty much. It was a brawl. And... Before... Anything really happened, let's talk about the women's. What are they doing to James Ellsworth and Carmella? First off, Texas... Don't get me wrong, Texas, wonderful state. But the crowd is not good. Let's just say they really didn't give anybody reactions. They were giving John Cena reactions. Cheering him. Oh, but when he comes to New York, his ass is getting booed out the building. I don't get Texas at all. Like, I like the, the state, but I just don't get it. <laughs> um, so I don't know what they're doing to James Ellsworth and Carmella. Carmella versus some Jabba bitch, blue headed bitch. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. She won the match, and no reactions to them whatsoever, which don't I don't think it's gonna last long. Uh, apparently, Daniel Bryan booked the match Nikki Bella versus Natalia at Elimination Chamber. Who the hell wants to see that? Uh-uh, not this guy. That's a damn fact. Uh. Gosh. And apparently on WWE app, Naomi is versing Alexa Bliss for the SmackDown Women's title at Elimination Chamber. Which makes sense. Fantastic. Good job to Naomi. Naomi, <laughs> Naomi, for trying to get what she does deserve. And I think that is all for SmackDown, only the big things. I was expecting a lot, but, you know, that's WWE for you. Much didn't really go on. Uh, we had Dolph Ziggler versus Kalisto. Pointless. And, of course... Dolph Ziggler won the match, and Apollo Crews comes out, tries to help Kalisto. This is just getting out of hand. Why is this not an Intercontinental title thing? You know, these guys should be fighting for the Intercontinental title. Makes sense. Dolph Ziggler, Apollo Crews, Kalisto. Hell, throw Dean Ambrose in there, because he's an Intercontinental champ. <laughs> Well, that's SmackDown for you guys. Pretty much, I should say, it's WWE for you guys. <laughs> well, the only best part was seeing these guys, I guess. The only best part was they just thought I was beating Dan Ambrose. <laughs> well, right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's SmackDown Live talk. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of SmackDown Live. And... Are you willing to change anything in the Elimination Chamber match? Let me know. I'm interested. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.